Hello, Juan. Um, my name's Gary. Uh, from Scotland, as you'll tell, with my accent. Um, first of all, thank you so much. You have provided a platform for anybody in all walks of life to be able to come on and speak out, use their freedom of speech to say the things, and admire your uh, method of journalism. You're probably putting a lot of uh, other journalists to shame because I know that most journalists will know by now if they're true to their job this does not exist they will know it but failing to speak out is uh, is shameful but anyway um, I'm a carpenter I make furniture um, I do the occasional YouTube video and I work in the northeast of Scotland and it disturbs me to see so many people here that uh, actually believe in the rhetoric that comes off their TV. Switch your TV off. I could prove that this pandemic does not exist in one sentence. Here it is. I've said this since the beginning of April. Viruses are invisible. Pandemics are not. They're in your face and they're everywhere. You can't hide a pandemic. In a typical street, in a typical city that's within a pandemic, you'd have a house that was uh, people really yelling that house and then two doors down is somebody else hell and then folk further down, well they're in hospital. And sadly, somebody at the bottom of the road has died. That's a typical street in a pandemic. Don't get it. It's not here. It's nowhere. And right in the beginning of April, I knew my gut feeling, my discern of this not being right, was when I saw all the world leaders. Um, it's like they were reading off the same kidnap note. They were reading the same stuff. But I know that these people like Trump and Johnston and Netanyahu and world leaders like that, they're not the leaders. We have ultimate leaders in this world. If you know their name and you recognise their face, that's not it. They're not it. So the leaders that we have in position now are puppets doing their bidding something else is going on some there's something else to change something is going on and what they want to try and feed out now is a new normal coming i have faith in god i pray that people will wake up to this they will see it for what it is it's a big lie but it bothers me when you see people that actually believe uh, in this flu, which I'll call it, which is not here, they go along with it. And I see people driving the car, wearing masks, wearing gloves by themselves, and they go along with it. But what bothers me is when I see that our people, old people, are not being cared for by the NHS like what they were. When I see old people struggling to walk up the road with big masks on, gasping for breath, and that bothers me. You know, the Scottish government, she must be in her city, driving about, she must see these things and she must be looking at these poor old people that are walking up the road struggling for breath why do you not put on a video? Guys, I was meaning in the shops. I was meaning on the bus. I wasn't meaning walking about and by yourself with no one else around you. It's terrible. It's just not done up. Now, in my city, if I see anybody, any leader of community coming out to speak out about this, I'll stand next to you. Even if I'm by myself, I will stand next to you. Viruses are invisible, pandemics are not.
something else is going on in the world that's changing. But I am praying that people that are closest to me will wake up, switch the TV off, throw it out. I have noticed that uh, most of the people that are speaking on your, coming forward to speak on your platform, are women. I've always known that uh, women can be braver than men when it comes to speaking out about stuff like this. And I think that's due to the fact that they've got a maternal instinct. That when they see things that's damaging and not right, they all want to speak out. So they're braver. And some of the videos, most of the videos that I've shared on my Facebook from your channel, most of them have, have been women. And the common sense that they've been coming out with. But we need to speak out. The over-exaggeration that was going on in the beginning with we Italy and that obvious false acting that was going on in uh, China that we saw the videos at the beginning where people were actually collapsing on the floor it did not manifest. It did not come to be. It did not fruit. So now when the deaths, the normal deaths, are happening, they are being hijacked and stuck. Covid on it, died with, that's like saying died with a pair of socks on. It's terrible. It rings bells of what was going on during World War Two, when some countries in Europe were the freedom of movement was taken away, the freedom of speech was definitely taken away. And anyone who spoke out against the, the, the law of that land, which became a law, were arrested. And our grandparents fought hard so that we would not have to live under that regime. They fought hard for it. And a few weeks ago, I felt real uncomfortable watching people out on a weekly, I don't know what to call it, like a sky wash up, like a clap. Every week it was going on. But yet our war dead, we're getting two minutes silence once a year. That's all I've got to say.